Hi everybody, in this next section of the video we're going to talk at, about the how to display the contents of a text file and then also look at the binary files at the same time. A lot of this you'll look at when you do your lab assignments because you'll be creating files and then um, using some of these commands. So the first command we're going to look at is something called cat. It stands for concatenation. It's the C-A-T command. And it's how you can view the contents of a file. So right now I'm logged in as user1. And let me go to the user1 home directory. Let's see what I have here so far. Okay, so I do a ls. And um, I created this file called project4. I just used vi to create it. And you'll do that. Um, with your homework and later on in this um, lesson when we get to editing text files. But here I just created one. It just has this contents. So cat you can use to view the contents of any file and then it doesn't take you out of the command line. So I could do cat project 4 and hit enter and then here's the contents of my file. cat-n and then again, any pro any file number or file name will show you line numbers. Like I have 11 lines in mine. Um, I didn't hit an enter at the end of this sentence that says unfortunately, so that my line three contains all three of these sentences. So the, it's a little different than how the book is, but it's just how I edited it edited the file, but cat-n will show you line numbers. And if you can imagine a file that's hundreds of lines long, line numbers are pretty um, important so that you can reference them. So that is a, a common tool that you can use to view files. Um, you can also open it in VI, which is one of the sections we'll learn later. But if you just want to see what's in the file, just use cat. Uh, clear, clears the screen, so I'll do that a lot to kind of clear up my area. Um, TAC, project 4, shows you the file, the contents from the file from the bottom up. It just flips it around. Why that's useful, imagine if you had a long file and you wanted just to see the tail information, you could use TAC. Um, speaking of tail, there's two other commands, head and tail and variations by supplying those arguments. Head by default shows the first 10 lines of a file and then tail by default shows the last 10 lines of a file. If you um, only want to see like two lines, the last two lines you could do tail dash two or the first three lines you could do head dash three. And again, mine only had 10 lines, but if I did, so if I did head and then project four, I only had 10 lines, so it's going to show me my whole thing anyway. But if I did um, maybe head dash three, project four, it will show me the first four lines. Now what constitutes a, a, as a new line is when you hit the enter key. So here's one line, here's a space, and then this whole paragraph. I just typed and typed and typed and it auto-wrapped it. So that's one whole line. That's why it shows up that way. Um, another command you'll look at in this section, more, and then the opposite of more is less, but this is confusing. Um, th this won't work with um, my project four because it only it, it's a short file name or a short contents of the file. But if you can imagine a long file, like everything that's in here, um, you could do more project five and it'll show one page at a time. And then it stops and you hit the space bar or the enter to pro proceed through the file. The space bar displays the next line of text and then um, or the next page of text and the enters the next line, similar to how you can navigate through man pages. And then um, the less command is kind of useful because it allows you to scroll through something. So um, 
I, I don't have a long file yet because we just created files, but let's look let's go to the um, Etsy directory. So I'm going to go into CD ETC. Um, that's where I am now. And if I do an LS or how about an, an LL, I have a whole bunch of lines. I can scroll up. And, oops, that was my update. And you can see I have a whole bunch of things in the Etsy directory. Here are just the S's and then the R's and the P's. And it, it's a lot of stuff. So one thing that you can do with the more command is use a pipe. And we talk more about pipes in Chapter 5. But you could do LL pipe more and do one page at a time. So here shows my first page and then I can hit the space bar or the enter and it'll go to the next page or the next line okay Q will exit out of that now what less does I don't know if it will work with a pipe but I think so so let's do that LL pipe less and you'll see we have a cursor at the end instead of more. And what the less command does is it allows it, it allows the list, you, it allows you to scroll through the list. So you could scroll up and down. Now, the terminal that I'm using, this white terminal, it's... Um, it allows me to scroll anyway because I have this window. But if you're using a normal terminal, like over here in um, my command line over here, uh, maybe I'm not even logged in over there. I'm not because I forgot I, I moved it. But if I go to a command line here and then log in, um, you don't have that scroll option on that window. So more and less, those, command, those commands, especially the less command, is really helpful in that situation. Ooh, let's try to go back to my GUI. I'm not, being, I'm not able to pull up a, a um, terminal window right now. Now, Control-Alt-F2 would take you to a terminal window, and Control-Alt-F1 takes me back to my GUI. So let me just let my machine catch up. Uh, one other thing I want to mention that I did. Let's see what's over here. Um, if you are moving your, your um, operating system around on a memory stick so you can take it to different places, if you get home or you get to school and you're using it there and you find that it's really slow or operating slower than you have the patience for, go ahead and just um, do a shutdown. Don't do a suspend. Do a whole shutdown of your server. So first do a shutdown from your command line, not your server, your operating system. And then um, simply shut down the OS, shut down VM, wait till it all closes properly, and then um, go to your memory stick and copy the whole VM. Like Here's all my files. There's a lot more in here right now because it's currently running, but once you shut it down, it's a lot less. It clears up like four gigs of space. Just throw it over on your hard drive real quick. Copy it over. Don't move it. And then when you're done, shut everything down and copy it back to your memory stick if you want to keep it portable. Um, so the, the thing there is if you're running off your memory stick, it's going to be a little bit slower. And um, if you don't have the patience, sort of like I don't have, especially right now, then you might um, want to just copy it over real quick. So let's see if I can get that back up. I seem to have royally messed that up. That's okay. It's a learning environment. And probably if I just hit one thing and waited, it probably would catch up. But no, I have to hit a two. There. See, and that keeps coming up. That's not what I want to do. You go away. 
Okay, let's wait there for a second. Um, that really, in this first section, which is displaying the contents of text files, um, just some different commands to, to use, but when you um, have to run them, you're going to have to create some files. So you'll learn that how to do that in editing text files. Let me look through my notes real quick, make sure I got everything. Um, this next section, I really want to show you some things here. Let, let me just pause real quick and uh, reboot that up so you don't have to wait for my machine. Whoops, let's go over here. Okay, it appears that I'm back up. Somehow I that rebooted my operating system and what I was trying to do was to take you from the terminal over here um, which has this built-in scroll and I use I use this terminal window which is part of activities only because it's easier for students and for people watching the screen um, viewing the videos and in the classroom to see so a lot of times you'll do like control -L F2 and you'll go over to this term this screen here now if I log in as user 1 I think I, oh, no, I did that. And I try that a, a long file, like, or what I was doing was um, I was in the Etsy directory, which had a whole bunch of things. Now I have my mouse, and you notice it's not doing anything. I can't do anything because there's no uh, scroll. So what I was trying to show you was the um, the less command ll pipe less will um, allow you to go up and down this with your arrow keys to scroll up and down. You see, and that could be pretty useful when you're looking at a long thing. Now the more command like ll pipe more it shows one page at a time and this is not you cannot go back it's just forward and the less lets you go back now when you're over using again the GUI it doesn't matter because we have this built-in scroll but um, this terminal window is only available when there's a GUI installed and um, most of the time you have that nice black screen that you looked at so that's the difference between um, less and more. And um, this pipe symbol, this is that key on the on the right side of the keyboard above the enter, the one with the backslash on it. So you hit shift and then that key. We'll talk more about pipes with chapter five. Um, this next section displaying the contents of binary files is kind of a continuation. So we'll add it in this little video. And um, here we have um, strings and a string is a, a command that allows you to search for text characters um, that are unique in binary files. So we have, remember we looked at that file command to see text files and binary files. Um, binary files are a little different and you can't use the cat command with that because cat only is for text files. Um, so binary files store stuff differently and you would use the strings command to search for that. Um, this command here is saying um, run the contents of this echo um, binary file. A binary file is just like an executable file. So echo is a command. Now if I tried to um, if I tried to run cat on echo, it, it actually it looks really ugly cat um, bin slash echo that's ugly and no I don't want to install a font that's not what I wanted to do because that's not a text file I have to use a command called strings and then I can look at how it's how the binary what is in actually that binary file and then um, if you use the pipe more you could look at it one page at a time so you can actually see what's in there now, what is what is this we're viewing? I have no idea. It's code that's it's code that um, runs what the echo command does, which just says echo, hello world, bam. 
So anyway, echo, or I'm, I'm sorry, strings is the command to, use binary, to view binary files. OD is another command um, that's safe to use on binary and text files. And it displays the contents in octal format. So if for whatever reason you want to see the octal variations of that, you can use the OD command. So that is this section of the video. Um, searching, that's a fun video, so make sure you watch that next. Thank you.